a devil man, being a devil man, loving a devil man. Welcome to Stuck in Vermont, brought to you by Seven Days. My name is Ava Solberger. We are here in Burlington at Off Center for the Dramatic Arts. And for three nights, Room of Lana and the House of LeMay are performing here. And a Halloween show. Yes. I love Halloween. Like, Halloween is my jam. So I want people to come in and not know what to expect. Guaranteed to blow your mind. Run, run, run it all over town. Tap your feet, be a little bit afraid, you know. I don't have to say anything during the show. I just molest somebody. Because the pumpkin and the president have a lot in common. You know what I mean? They're both orange, they're both hollow on the inside, and they should both be thrown out by mid-November. <laughs> And we are the House of LeMay. It's great that uh, we've worked with uh, Room of Lana for so many years at the Drag Ball. They've been amazing performers at the Drag Ball for God knows how many, 20 years probably. The hard thing about Room of Lana is we, no, we don't fit anywhere. We're not theater, really. We're not a rock band. We don't fit with dance music, but we are dance music. Pretty much every single thing that happens, every song that we write, every idea that we have, it's not like someone like is like, this is what we're going to do. It's like someone's like, oh my God, what if we did this? And it's the most outrageous, ridiculous thing you've ever heard of. And we're like, yeah. A giant two-headed baby gonna come out. Okay, there's monsters in outer space. <laughs> what if we had big butts? Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's tear up a couch. <laughs> and we just like, feed off of each other's crazy imaginations and it just turns into something. 99% of what we create and perform is original music. One is good, two is better, three gets you hot, four gets you wetter. It's our Halloween classic. <laughs> it's really about expressing yourself, being creative, having a good time, and building each other up. And we need more of that. I think it's safe to say that nobody is doing what Rue Mevlana does. I'm your boogeyman, boogeyman. Turn me on, I'm boogeyman, boogeyman. Do what you want. Do you see what I mean about all the love? <laughs> the Roo Crew, they've been together for a really long time. Make a spell on this one, turn her into one of us. I mean, we've all been doing it for so long, it's like exhilarating to know that after 20 years, we're still doing it. Nathan has been creating these extravaganzas since he was knee-high to a disco grasshopper. I was obsessed with Boy George. Obsessed. Rebecca and I were in high school together. We used to sing a lot of karaoke together. We performed at the drag ball. It was just me and Nathan. And I guess they probably just asked me to be in a show. And Nathan said, can you put this leather dress on and go like this? A little history. Yeah, it's, kind of, it's a collective. I mean, it is. It's, it's really like an old-fashioned collective. I've had the great privilege of being lovingly roped in. You get to be up there with all these sexy, fabulous divas, and then I'm like in a box or something. But that works for me. A lot of what we do gets eclipsed by the subversive stuff we do. We're also really good songwriters. So like, I'll usually start a piece and then someone will come in and then they'll like expand on it and then it just grows. And then we all have like background in theater, so the songs get sort of translated into these into these little pieces, which is why I called our record mythology because every show has a mythological understory. They've always been theatrical and extravagant, but as they've developed um, what they're doing musically and what they're doing in terms of the stage show has just developed and gotten more sophisticated. And you'll see these amazing visuals that Nathan has created. So the costumes and the makeup all fit together as a whole visual treat. And it's just amazing how everybody like comes together and makes the fantasy a reality, you know? Yeah, we have wonderful support systems, all of us. This is for my daughter, so. It's like the only time I make for myself to see my friends and to get out of the house and to like 
Can I have my own life? This is what we make time for and what's important to us. And it's just a little crazier than some other people's hobbies, but that's okay. Someone invite us before we drop in. The drag queens that are so beloved by Vermont. They've raised so much money for charity. Over the past 17 years for the Winter is a Drag Ball, we've raised almost $300,000 for the Vermont People with AIDS Coalition. Oh my God, we've come a long way, baby. <laughs> 25, 26, 27 years. Amazing, yeah. If you want to understand Vermont, you have to understand the House of Women. We don't have money to give of ourselves, <laughs> so we give our time. You and know? beauty. <laughs> you can grow some pot. Only two plants and you can't sell it to anyone. Get high way and everybody kind of gets behind someone's project which is what I really love. It's one of the beautiful things about the art scene in Burlington is that there is this just collaborative spirit right? You're uh, scary! Where else but in Burlington Vermont could 60 year old drag queens <laughs> walk down the street and people cheer? He's a monster mash! A monster mash! Who was the graveyard smash? They got on in a blast. He did a match. You can see the House of LeMay and Rue Mevlana next at the Drag Ball in February, and we will get stuck in Vermont for you again real soon. Happy Halloween, everyone! Follow us on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram. Sign up for our weekly email alerts. And 10 years ago, we also created the League of Drag Queen Voters, and our motto is, Don't blow it, vote! Go out and vote for the midterms. Please. That. The end. The end. <laughs>